Hi, I'm Molly. We at Digica are excited to share with you the brand new software update for S-Series, version 3, which dramatically increases the processing power available in our small, cost-effective S21 and S31 consoles. I'll be taking you through all of the new features that it has to offer. When the S-Series first launched back in 2015, it had 40 input channels. In version 2, released in 2017, we upgraded that to 48 channels. Now, with version 3, we're offering an optional chargeable software expansion to turn your console into an S21 Plus or an S31 Plus. The software expansion increases the channel counts to 60 flexi channels and 24 flexi buses. Since all channels on the S21 and S31 are flexi channels, meaning they can be either mono or stereo, you can now process up to 120 inputs across 60 stereo channels and have 48 output processing paths across 24 stereo groups or auxes. Plus, you have your master bus, including some new master bus configurations and the standard 10x8 matrix. Now, let's look at the features that are included for free with version 3. Firstly, we have two new master bus configurations, LCR, left, center, right, or LRM, left, right, mono. When you set up the master bus with one of these new configurations, it provides additional control on the channels over the LCR blend or the LRM mono gain. LCR and LRM are great for when you run an expanded speaker setup or need to send out a mono mix alongside your stereo mix. Increasing the bus size doesn't introduce any compromises in the console. You still have access to all of your buses and all of your channels. Back in 2018, software version 2.2 introduced OSC control of snapshots. Version 3 extends the OSC control capabilities to channel processing controls. With the ability to control many aspects of channel and bus processing, including EQ and dynamics, this update adds a huge amount of flexibility when integrating your S-Series console with external remote control systems. Version 3 also adds compatibility for MADI sample rate conversion on the DMI MADI B and the DMI MADI C. SRC allows your S21 or S31 to run at a different sample rate to connected MADI devices, providing useful flexibility when connecting to external MADI devices. This is commonly used for recording and virtual sound check and for maximum compatibility, both high speed and SMOX 96K MADI modes are supported. We're also adding compatibility for our Dante based DQ rack with this update. The DQ rack is our compact 48 in 24 out high performance stage rack. And when connected to your S series console via our DMI Dante 64 at 96 card, provides cost-effective expansion, perfect for both touring and install markets. Dante is commonly used for fixed install and conference AV solutions. So the support of our expanding Dante rack range with the S21 and S31 consoles is an important step and opens these consoles up to more markets and opportunities. The S series now makes use of GPIO, general purpose inputs and outputs. The S21 and S31 feature a quarter inch GPI and a quarter inch GPO on the back for connection to external devices. GPI can be used to fire a specific snapshot or to trigger the previous or next snapshot. Maybe you want to use a foot pedal to fire your next snapshot or in an install venue, have an external system trigger a configuration via a stored snapshot. GPOs are commonly used to trigger external devices with a simple contact closure. Adding a GPO message to your S-Series snapshots provides simple integration options. The contacts can be programmed to either open or close with each snapshot. With a snapshot being fired, you could use GPO to trigger a projector being lowered or dim or brighten the house lights. In addition to these bigger updates to the console software, there are a number of smaller tweaks to improve the workflow and make operation even simpler. Two worth mentioning today are dynamic EQ ganging and the global tap delay function. 
Dynamic EQ is a powerful processing feature built right into the channels and provides the ability to control the amount of EQ being applied to a signal based on the level of the signal. This is often used to solve audio problems like the proximity effect or to DS a signal. Version 3 software adds ganging of this function across multiple channels. This is a useful time saver when mixing lots of similar inputs that need similar treatment. The S21 and S31 feature a global tap delay function. When mixing, it's useful to have a single tap control that sets the delay time across all of your delays. This update adds the ability to control the 10 tap delay with this global function. So no matter which internal delay effect you're using, you always have access to the control you need. The main version 3 S series feature upgrade is free to all S21 and S31 owners. And if you want to purchase the optional channel expansion pack, visit the Digico online shop today. Head to YouTube for more Digico videos and keep an eye out for more in-depth videos on how to use these new features.